My name is Evie Goldfein and I'm alive today thanks to Gift of Life. I was first diagnosed in 2001 with stage four lymphoma. When I learned that I needed a transplant from a total stranger, the first thoughts that came through my mind was, what kind of person is going to be willing to donate to me? And is there going to be a match out there for me? My transplant took place in July of 2005 at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston. After I recovered, I was fortunate enough to meet my donor, and it was one of the most extraordinary evenings of my entire life. Thanks to Gift of Life and my donor, I was able to walk my daughter down the aisle. I was able to see my grandchildren be born. I've been able to do extensive traveling. Um, I've been able to experience life with my friends and with my family. I've also been given a chance to help other transplant recipients and patients like myself. I spend a lot of time recruiting. I've registered over 4,000 people into the bone marrow registry. I work with bar and bat mitzvah kids who are running drives in their communities. I have couriered for Gift of Life and transported stem cells. Gift of Life saved my life and I am forever grateful for that second chance at life and for the opportunity that I have to help save the lives of others. In 1991, Jay was diagnosed with leukemia and he knew he needed a bone marrow transplant. His doctors told him that there were no matches for him in the registry because there were no Jews in the registry. And his family did not take that lying down. They started heavily recruiting in Jewish communities and it took four years before they found a match for Jay. But in those four years, many other lives were saved by matches. When Jay was in the hospital recovering, he turned to his parents and he said, if I live through this, I am dedicating the rest of my life to saving the lives of others. And that's how Gift of Life was founded. Everyone at Gift of Life gave me so much support when I went through my transplant. And I know they do the same thing for every patient in need. It's amazing when you think about where this all started. It started at Jay's parents' dining room table in New Jersey and has mushroomed from a grassroots organization into a, an organization that is 20 years old and has saved the lives of thousands of people. In fact, I know that they are working with several families right now, looking for matches for their loved ones. We contacted Gift of Life uh, about six months ago because we are trying to find a match, a bone marrow donor match for our two-year-old son, Ezra, who suffers from a very rare primary immune deficiency called type IgM syndrome. Right now, he receives medical treatments which have been keeping him status quo. However, very serious complications can arise in the future, and that's why the recommendation is for him to have a bone marrow transplant, but that's provided we can find a match for him. If the transplant were to be successful, he would be completely cured. He'd have a new immune system. He could discontinue his medical treatments, and he live a normal life. As a result of all of the drives and fundraising that we've done, uh, we've sponsored over 1,300 new donors for the registry. We're aware that Gift of Life has a substantial wait list of donors who have been swabbed and tested, but for whom there are no funds to process their tests, and that is a fact that really concerns us. We are determined to find a match for Ezra and we need everyone's help in order to do that. If I can find a match for someone else, then maybe there's a reason why we're going through these challenges with Ezra and that means everything. Knowing and working with Jay has been a privilege. It has been a gift. He works 24-7 to help people who are in need. He will stop at nothing to help a patient find a match. Every time I tell the story of the grassroots organization that they started and the thousands of lives that they've saved, everyone is extraordinarily inspired. Congratulations, Jay, Jack, and Arlene on 20 years of saving lives, and thank you.